I'll think about them, said Deborah. She did not want to wear diapers. Even the old people diapers her mother picked out would make her feel babyish. When her mother left, she went to her closet to pick an outfit for the movie. Jeans and a math shirt would work. Her shirt said, the meaning of life. It had a sigma notation equation that worked out to 42. She smiled. At least the hitchhiker's guide was still popular among other nerds. The doorbell rung, which meant Leah had arrived. Deborah hurried down to meet her. The movie was really good, said Deborah as the two girls walked out of the theater. She was surprised that even though they stepped away from canon, they managed to do it without pissing off the fans, herself included. I liked it too, said Leah, but now I really have to pee. I wish I didn't drink all that soda. I drank as much soda as you and I got to go too, said Deborah. They finally got out of the hallway and then saw the huge line for the bathroom. Deborah didn't have to go that bad. None of her accidents were from having to hold it too long, except maybe the first one. They were all from nightmares or the surprise of finding that the real Alison died in her place. Leah, however, was wiggling and crossing her legs. Leah, want to get a slice of pie at Village Inn? We can walk across the parking lot and use the bathroom there before we even get halfway through this line. Good idea, she said. Deborah led the way out of the theater. She resisted the urge to stop at every movie poster and see what would be playing next. The idea of seeing another movie intrigued her. She moved on. Outside the theater, drivers sat in parked cars waiting for people. Others were standing around talking on cell phone arranging rides or regrouping with friends when they were separated in the crowd. A middle-aged man in jeans and a t-shirt walked toward the theatre. He kept his salt and pepper hair trimmed close, almost like a crew cut. His grey eyes pierced through her, they felt cold and there was not a hint of compassion in them. She recognised the eyes. She dreamed of a younger version of this man every night when he hijacked her truck and ran it into the school. The owl tattoos on his arm confirmed her suspicion. This man was the hijacker. She felt numb. What could she do? Would anyone even believe her? She felt hot and moist and... Alison, Alison, Alison. Leah hit her on the shoulder to get her attention. Alison, you're wetting yourself. Deborah looked down. Her jeans were soaked between her legs. She stood in a warm puddle, and she was the last one to realize it. The worst thing was it was almost summer, so it was still light enough out that it was obvious that she had soaked her jeans. People around her were staring or whispering to one another. Leah's announcement didn't help matters, instead it called attention to her. Evan Fiscus and Julia Grass walked up. It's your pea baby ex-girlfriend, Evan, Julia said with a grin. Evans was more shocked than anything else. What is wrong with you, Alison? Having accidents. He shook his head and walked away with the giggling Julia. Deborah looked back at the man with the grey eyes and the tattoos. He had a few friends with him and they were walking back to the parking lot. Leah dragged her in the same direction and they headed toward her brother's car. What happened, she asked. I didn't think you had to go that bad. She stopped and crossed her legs and then started toward her car. I can't let you sit in the car either. My brother has cloth seats and he will never let me use the car again if I bring it back pea-stained. Deborah started crying. These accidents were ruining her new life. I'm sorry, she sobbed. It's okay, said Leah. I am going to end up like you if I don't find a bathroom soon, she said. Deborah dug in her purse for a twenty. Get us a whole French silk pie when you go in there. She needed comfort food after tonight's experience. What would her mother say when she walked in the house like this? I can't believe you still want pie, said Leah, as she walked away from the car. She was shaking her head.